All right, guys. Today we have a uh, interesting little topic about the issue of laying worker bees. Um, any, you know, I would hope that anyone that's been in beekeeping for a while understands it, but I wanted to talk about it for those that watch my videos that are trying to learn. I guess um, laying worker is a a rare issue, um, but it's a real issue when you get it, and it is hard to mitigate. But what I wanted to show you on this frame and. God bless, I have no idea what I'm actually showing you because of the sun, because of the glare from the sun, but um, let me see if I can tell. I got to look here in the frame. Okay. I just got cut off by a phone call, but if you look right here in the frame, if you can look where the tip of my finger is, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on the video or not, but I'll try to kind of zoom in and, and zoom back out and maybe give you a, a chance to see it, but what there is there at the tip of my finger is I count at least five eggs in a couple of those cells. Um, now there should only be one, right? But I count five, six eggs in some of them, and they're scattered all over the bottom, stuck on the sides. Uh, that's a dead giveaway of laying worker. What happens is if your queen goes queen, if your hive goes queenless, and they have nothing to build off of, um, it can happen that the worker bees will basically decide that they're going to become a queen themselves. Now they can't physically do this because they were never, their ovaries never developed properly in the first place when they were actually developing in the cell. They do still have the ovaries, they can still lay eggs, but they didn't develop properly, nor did they ever fly out and mate. So they can't lay any fertilized eggs. So your first indication of a laying worker issue is a lot of eggs scattered randomly in cells and multiple eggs in the cell. If you don't catch it in the egg phase, what you'll start to notice is nothing but drone brood. Nothing at all but drone brood in your hive. Uh, never any worker brood because the worker bees cannot lay fertilized eggs. So anyway, um, I'm going to cut it off real short. Uh, i got to call that guy back that just called me. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's the first time that I've seen it in me, my hives. Um, what happened in this given situation was I did try to make a split and split into a uh, queen castle here. And I gave him a queen cell and it appears that she hatched from what I can tell, or maybe they tore it down, I don't know, but I thought she had hatched. Um, but if she did hatch, she didn't survive, she didn't get mated or something happened, or they tore it down and killed her and then they regretted it because they are stuck with laying workers. And they, you know, a hive that's left to go on its own with laying worker will ultimately fail because they cannot ever raise more worker brood. They'll just raise a bunch of drones and eventually starve to death. So anyway, I just want to share it with you guys. Um, there's a few options to correct it. The one that I've heard that I think works the best is take that worker, that laying worker colony and do a combine with it on a non-laying worker colony, one that has a, its queen right, but you have to do a proper newspaper combine so that those laying workers are slowly introduced to the queen right hive and meet the new queen. If you just dump them in there, uh, there's a chance that they will kill that new queen, I guess out of spite because they consider themselves a queen. It's, you know, angry princess uh, syndrome. So. Anyway, uh, you can look into it a little bit more. It's definitely something that if you're thinking about getting into beekeeping, it's something you need to know about, you need to be aware of. Uh, so I just figured I'd share it.